means we've got to get an office pool going on because we might just win big and then we can escape this rain we're going to see. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Raina. Good morning, everybody. And um, we're actually seeing some breaks in the clouds, too, that some of you folks will wake up to some sunshine, particularly off towards the east and the south bay. And you won't really start to see the effect of rain until late this afternoon and this evening. So that's kind of nice. Of course, the rain's starting up in the north bay. We're actually seeing the typical type of pattern we see during the winter months, not so much in the spring, but in the winter months. But we've been treated so much to these mid-latitude or southern systems that have come bubbling up from the south that provide very different scenarios than what we're going to see. We'll be breaking it down for you as we go forward. A lot of 50s here in these bays. You can see up to the north bay, some upper 40s, though. But the big takeaway is how much milder we are to start than we have been from some previous mornings. Futurecast 4, what happens? Well, let's get you to around noon here or so. That's when most of the North Bay has already been covered by rain. You can see it's very slow spreading off to the East and the South Bay. Ultimately, it does such. So as you get into the evening commute, you can see by 5 o'clock shortly thereafterwards, we've got most of the Bay pretty much covered with good embedded rain in there. And that is going to come with some winds as well. So very sloppy on that commute. Even if you're getting a light rain, you have those winds just blowing the raindrops around. Not going to be a lot of fun there. So then it clears out. We get a clear space overnight temporarily for a few hours. Could even see the skies open up until a new line of some showers greet us Saturday morning. Kind of a nice thing in some ways because that stabilizes the atmosphere, but there might be some more breaks to be had before another line comes through and more successive ones expected into Saturday night and as we get into Sunday, which is going to be more scattered showers. But the bigger issue is going to be that cold air aloft with these winter type storms. That's going to drive instability. And that means thunder showers, local hail, local heavy winds, ever so localized, not widespread rain that everybody gets all the same time. But here are the winds, though, with this first system this evening. Good wind coverage. Everybody's getting a good wind here, as you can see in the upper teens, lower 20s. No wind advisory, but there's a nice good pop here for six hours. Not as of impressive, but we see another pop happen on Saturday afternoon. This is, again, a broad-based winds that everybody's getting. It's not localized winds that are a different story if you're under a thunder shower. And this takes us now into Sunday, and it looks like more to be had. So we're going to see these pulses of winds come both today and tomorrow. So today we got the rain developing, windy, sloppy evening commute. Weekend. Well, this is interesting. We've got showers on Saturday. It's going to be more scattered on Sunday. That means breaks in the skies a little bit there and some thunder showers. So just gives the atmosphere energy to play with. Next week, it's kind of quiet Monday into Tuesday. Can't roll out a sprinkle, variable clouds and all of that. Temperatures remaining cool. And then Wednesday, we get that big hit unsettled right on and through next weekend. Back to today now. We are seeing some uh, rays of sun. Some folks will see that, particularly in the east and the south. Bay 64, San Francisco, 66, Oakland, and 74, San Jose. In a bit, we'll be walking you through what it looks like in the longer range forecast. Right now, let's walk us through the Bay Area bridges. Raina. All right, anyway.